So what is music? It's pretty hard to define. Google says music is vocal or instrumental sounds, or both, combined in such a way as to produce beauty of form, harmony, and expression of emotion. This is a bad definition because there are plenty of examples of music that don't have harmony. Another problem with this definition is that beauty is subjective. In his book, How Music Works, John Powell gives a much better definition of music. He defines it as sound which has been organized to stimulate someone. So what is sound? Sounds are waves of vibrations. This is an example of a graphical representation of a sound wave. This kind of wave is called a sine wave. The amplitude in the diagram tells us the volume of the sound wave. Not all sound waves look like this, though. In the same type of diagram, the waveform of an accordion would look more like this. So what makes some sounds higher in pitch than other sounds? What exactly is pitch? The pitch of a sound is just how high or low it sounds, which is not a very scientific definition. However, pitch is determined by frequency, which is a measurable thing. The frequency of a sound is how often it completes a full cycle. Going back to the sine wave, one cycle would be going all the way up and all the way down. The common unit of frequency is hertz, which is just a fancy way of saying full cycles per one second. So if this graph shows one second, the frequency of this wave would be 2 hertz, because it makes two complete cycles over one second. But when we write down music, it would be too complicated to write down each frequency of each note. Instead, the letters A through G show the different pitches. However, there are clearly more than just seven different pitches. This is where it gets complicated. The seven letters keep repeating. The second A is considered an octave above the first A, because counting the A's, there's eight notes in between. The reason both pitches are called A is because the higher A would have exactly double the frequency of the lower A. However, there's a note between A and B. This note would be called A sharp or B flat. A with the hash mark next to it means A sharp. To differentiate them, notes of the same letter are numbered. So if the dark blue A is A1, the next A above it is A2. So now that the pitches have been named, what are their frequencies? Here are the frequencies of A0 through A8, according to the Michigan Technological University. Keep in mind that pitches were invented by people, so all these pitches were calculated, assuming that A4 equals 440 hertz. 440 hertz is pretty much the standard. However, musicians don't always like to stick to this rule. For example, the Beatles' Strawberry Fields Forever is not in tune with this standard. So from the starting point of 440 hertz, how are the other pitches calculated? To find the equation, let's start with the frequencies of A0 and A1. Since octaves are based on doubling, it would make the most sense to use an exponential function. Start by inputting the first ordered pair. Because anything to the zero power is one, this can be simplified. Now plug in A and the second ordered pair. Now divide both sides by 27.5. Now both A and B have been identified and just plug them in to get the equation. Here are all the frequencies from before. The independent variable is the number of the A. The dependent variable is the frequency of the pitch. The equation lines up perfectly with all the points. This means the equation must be correct. Because the data is perfectly exponential, a regression will give us the same equation. But consider this. The equation continues backwards past A0. But since the frequencies of negative a's never touch zero, there are actually negative a's. Also notice that there are points in between whole numbers of a's. Those points are the other pitches between the a's. Let's use the equation to find the frequency of b4. The octave is divided into 12 pitches, and b is 2 pitches above a. So to find b4, we'll plug in a4 and 2 twelfths. This gives us the frequency of b4. And that concludes the presentation.